Hi there, so today I'm going to talk about testing your Sapper app with Cypress. And Cypress is just, it's got this folder that it comes with automatically. Um, so that's why I'm using Cypress. Seems like a cool framework also. This is my first time using it. But it's like a end-to-end, -end, what does it say? End-to-end -end testing framework. And so it's independent of Sapper and Svelte. Um, but it's got a lot of documentation. I find it a bit overwhelming and hard to find exactly what I'm looking for at times, but the most helpful I think is the API. Uh, but there's just, yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. So I'm just going to show you the basics of setting it up. So after you have your Sapper project, um, then you're going to npm install Cypress. I already did that, but you'll want to run that. Okay. And then after that, they'll have two commands that are available to you. And you can do this two ways. One way is to do npx cypress open you can do that or you can do these kind of pre-written cy run command so normally in any project you use cypress you could do this but uh sapper just comes with this cy run which is just doing cypress run so in that case you can also do npm run cy open okay so there's open and there's run so run is probably if you just want to run the tests and you just want to run all the tests and see what happens. Open is if you want it to be slightly more interactive. So it's going to open up this GUI here and it's going to let me choose between uh, the tests that I have. So right now it's just integration tests. Spec.js is what it comes with automatically. Um, this is the test that they have pre-written into it. And then form is the one that I made to test my form in my separate project here. Okay. And so one thing is that it does take a long time and crashes while I'm recording. See, I'm recording my screen and trying to run the tests. So I'm going to go ahead and click it, but you're probably going to have to come and do this yourself because it just takes a long, long time and crashes often um, because my computer just isn't powerful enough to be running these tests and also recording the screen. Okay, so usually it would be it would be done by now if I wasn't recording, but since I am recording, uh, this is going to take a long time. So I might not even be able to show you what happens here. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to try this one. I'm going to stop that. Stop. You're just going to have to go and try it yourself. Form.js is the one I wrote. And, you know, it's the form doesn't make much sense, the test is just testing that you can type into the input fields and that you can that when you push a button it changes um when you click this button it changes the message okay so you need to make sure that you have cy.visit either at the beginning of this describe block or before each so before each it statement oh there we go okay you'll see it's typing in right there and then it clicks submit Cool, so that worked. Um, yeah, so right here it says, oh, so this is the test I ran. It goes to cy.visit, so this makes sure that it actually opens up um, on a page. Otherwise, it's just going to be a blank browser, and you can't do any of this. Okay, then has the correct message before. So before it says, hello, nerd, and that's what it's checking for. So this is how I wrote it. I don't know if it's the best way to write it. I thought that this should work, but it didn't. Um, and then it checks that it can fill out all the inputs. And you, if you go back in the video a bit, you can see that it was, where are you, here? It was actually typing these in. And I wonder, yeah. Um, and then when it clicks submit, can I actually click submit? Yeah, you can type in here too. Um, then it changes this. So it checked for that. Okay, so... Um, the other thing you can do is click on here and like actually go kind of like back in time to where it was before. So here it was checking that it says hello nerd, but then down here it's checking when it was in this state, uh, that it said goodbye cool kid. Okay. So that's a bit of an intro to how that all works. Just getting it set up. You will need to figure out, uh, all the different commands that you can do. Here, there's lots of different ones, and maybe you're already familiar. 
Another thing just before I end this is that you can do npm run cy run. And again, this will take forever because I'm recording my screen, but you can try it at home and it will run through all of your tests. So my spec and form, and it'll tell you if they're all passing and if any of the tests fail. So if a test fails, well, I'll just let you shoot, uh, do that yourself. So for example, here you can try to make this one fail. So it says great success. Just come here, change it to like not anything else really and save. And then when you run spec.js, one of the tests will fail. Okay, but each of these are like individual tests, each it statement, it, it, it. And then this is um, a full, so you've got to describe. So this is just a good way to organize your tests. So you can have different files, you can have a describe block, and then in each describe block, you'll have an it um, for your individual tests. Okay, so that's all I'll talk about to, um, for now. And hope that was helpful and will help you get up and running with Cypress. And good luck. Have fun. Bye.